What is up guys, welcome back to another Geek of What video and today I got these very snazzy earphones in uh, from a new player in the audio market called Bleak. At least I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, I'm sure you'll correct me in the comments section below. These wireless earphones are sort of oriented towards that sports market with the over ear fit which I'll come on to more in a moment's time. And honestly since upgrading to the OnePlus 6T which of course lacks a headphone jack, these earphones have been uh, my complete and utter saviour. The earphones come packed in a plentiful amount of packaging foam which is going to keep them nice and secure in transit and is really nice presentation wise. Removing this top layer uh, reveals a pamphlet with some documentation and a bleak sticker if that's what you're into. Uh, taking the pamphlet out of the box and finally you'll find your last three accessories. First and foremost you get four pairs of replacement earbuds, uh, so if the default ones included aren't uh, quite the fit to your ear you've got plenty of options on this front. You also get a micro USB charging cable alongside a carrying case. All of these accessories are nicely colour coordinated uh, to the product that you choose. So for example, this is available in white, uh, red or black. And it's nice to see these accessories have got that real attention to detail. Moving back to the design of the earphones themselves though, and it's actually a pretty impressive affair. They use their flex system to secure them into your ears uh, with soft, of course, flexible rubber uh, that fits nicely around your ears to make sure these don't go anywhere and helps, of course, to give them their sports pedigree. Moving down the earphones slightly and you'll find an inline controller, which is really useful for changing volume on the fly and, of course, playing or pausing music. Uh, what's really cool about this controller, though, is actually what Bleak call their ambient mode. What this allows you to do is double tap the play or pause button and it will actually fade your music out uh, nice and gently and then feed the sounds from outside through your earphones. This means if you need to have a quick conversation or uh, you wanted to hear a sound, uh, you can more than easily do so without removing the earphones themselves, which is a really, really useful and intuitive feature. These earphones are also waterproof, which means like running in the rain and stuff isn't going to be of a concern, though that's not to say using these in the shower for an extensive period of time it is overly advised. On a full charge, you get 14 and a half hours of non-stop music listening time, which is really impressive and means you aren't going to have to worry about charging these things too often. If you do forget to charge them up though, what's really cool is that you can charge uh, in just 10 minutes to an hour's worth of non-stop music listening. That's going to be really handy for people like me who will forget to charge anything and also people in a bit of a pinch. All in all, I have to say I've been pretty impressed by these earphones, from the way they fit in your ear, which is super comfortable and helps to sort of uh, passively cancel out additional noises, uh, to the sound quality, where the bass is deep and rich but doesn't drown out other areas of the sound image and doesn't completely trash the sound signature. The unboxing experience is really nice and the colour matched accessories show a really good attention to detail. I think Bleak could be onto a winner here and whilst these are a tad expensive, uh, the up to date links for pricing will be in the description below. If you're looking for a good pair of sport earphones, these may well be the best ones to pick up. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big old like, get subscribed if you aren't already and ding dong that notification bell. Hit me up on all these social medias as well, which I will link in the description below. And as always, we'll see you in the next Geek A What video.